All right, so what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to be booting this next cube. Now, as you can see, it's already running next step, but it's doing it off the hard drive right now. And that's not really thing, anything that's going to be kind of, well, special in the next couple of minutes here. What's going to make this boot so special is that we're not going to use the hard drive at all. In fact, we're not even going to use any sort of um, fixed disk drive. Instead, we're going to use the optical disk drive. And because this machine here just had its optical disk drive repaired, we can do that. And with Next Step, there's this fancy little utility called builddisk.app, which is in the Next Admin folder. And it just simply lets you select, uh, or it automatically selects a number of system files required to boot. Plus, you can let it select um, its own uh, your own files. So you can have a couple of files of your uh, programs that you want on this disk when it boots. And it'll go on its merry little way and build the disk, maybe ask you a couple questions. But other than that, once it's done, after a period of time, you'll have a disk that's completely bootable with your cube. Now, there's a reason why Next Cubes had MO drives in the first place. And that's simply because, at the time, they thought this was the replacement to the hard drive. And in fact, when the cube first came out, you didn't really get a hard drive. You had the MO drive and the system software came on a magneto optical disk. And that's how you used it. Unfortunately, the cube sold with 8 megabytes of RAM as standard. And not a lot of people were fitting within that 8 megabyte, megabyte constra uh, constraint within uh, Next Step. And as a result, what does Unix like to do when it runs low on physical memory? Use virtual memory. And the only thing it could swap from was the magneto optical drive. And that's where things slowed to a crawl. And it made using the magneto optical drive completely unbearable. So even before we were having problems with the drives failing, Next decided to start shipping with hard drives in the cubes. But anyways, let's get this one already set up. I have this disk already pre-built and ready. Gonna go here and we will shut down the system. use command till to get me into the ROM monitor. I will take our cartridge and load it into the drive. And now back in the monitor it's a simple command of Booting the optical disk. B O D. Working isn't going to be working in this situation, but we'll work without it for now.
have a mouse cursor. And because I just built this disk, it currently has all of its localizations reset. But everything seems okay. English, USA. Yes. It's got a fancy spinning disk logo. For you Mac users, this later became the beach ball. And there's the dock. And there's the viewer. And there's the toolbar. Still don't know what it's doing with the drive, but it's busy. Can I open anything yet? That's working. There we go. And there's our hard disk right there, so it actually can see the SCSI disk I have in the machine. There you go. But here we are. We are currently running Next Step version 3.3 on a 68040 Next Cube with a rather odd 52 megabytes of memory because I think one of my banks are not really behaving right on a 256 megabyte magneto optical disk drive.